Matthew Gretsch, who lives in Malta, did an online interview about how he had turned away from the homosexual lifestyle and essentially turned to Christ. And that's what the interview was about. Now he's being charged and in fact faces five months in prison and an almost $5,500 fine for saying just that. That he had turned away from the homosexual lifestyle and, you know, found Christ. Because in the country of Malta, it's not legal to promote conversion therapy. Which I'll get to in a second, but um, that's what this is all about. He was telling people, there's another way, there's another route, I've done it and I'm going through it. And for that alone, he's facing actual imprisonment, which is alarming. Now before we go any further, conversion therapy, there's a lot of different imagery that's connected to that, thanks in large part to the mainstream media who want you to see Electroshock, but really what we're talking about is referred to by adherents of it usually as reparative therapy. So it's it's talk therapy, you, you talk to a counsellor and he tries to find the different different reasons that you have these unwanted homosexual attractions and help you to overcome them. Often it's by dealing with childhood trauma, but it can depend, I mean, the, the commonalities include an overbearing mother, an absent father, these kinds of things. Regardless, that's what conversion therapy really is. It's, it's just talking to, to a therapist. It, it's nothing scary. But anyway, in 2016, Malta became the first European country to ban conversion therapy. And this guy didn't actually, you know, advertise conversion therapy or, you know, reparative therapy, but even if he had, that wouldn't be wrong and shouldn't be criminal. He explained how he moved away from engaging in these sinful sexual practices and that he did so because they're sinful. He opposed how uh, con conversion therapy is banned in Malta and talked about how he thought that such bans were harmful to people who were trying to, to form a new life, who perhaps could have the opportunity to go through therapy and maybe have a family, or if not, you know, to, to simply to live a alone sexually. And that's, that's okay to be chaste. Now, he opposed further how homosexuality is labelled as more of an identity in today's world instead of a practice. Those are his words. And he's not wrong. Uh, that's why men like himself often refer to themselves as ex-gay, because to be gay is to embrace the lifestyle associated, you know, with the attraction, as opposed to homosexuality, which is simply, you know, I have these feelings. When the man then identifies himself as gay, then suddenly, you know, he's he's living out his his fantasies, I suppose. He's trying to create the gay the gay accent and everything that goes with it. Now, in various U.S. states. Uh, you also have the banning of conversion therapy. Not usually to this degree, as in somebody who goes on an interview and then promotes it, but certainly the therapists have been prohibited from engaging in therapy with the intent of helping the person to overcome their homosexual urges. And that's incredibly wrong. I mean, just unbelievably wrong, because you've got a person who of his own will, is saying, I have these feelings, I don't want these feelings, I want to go to a therapist who might be able to help me. The therapist, by his own will, will is saying, okay, so here's what some research has shown that we can maybe do, let me try and help this person. These two people in a in a sort of fair trade exchange, you know, money for services, as we, you know, we tout capitalism in this country, isn't it wonderful? And then suddenly you have the government saying no. No, we can't allow, this is state governments, coming in and saying, no, we can't allow that to happen. So even here in the US, sometimes people actually have to travel for this. But I think the very next, the next step would be something like Malta, where you can't even promote the idea that it's possible. You can't even promote the idea that this should be, should be allowed, should be legal, should be free. You can't do exactly what I'm doing right now over in Malta. And, you know, even... Amazon, the biggest, well, probably, it would have to be the biggest bookseller in the world, doesn't sell some of the so-called conversion therapy books or reparative therapy books by uh, Joseph Nicolosi, uh, who talked about this, who, who <clears throat> it now has passed, but he helped so many uh, men to overcome the feelings that they had, the unwanted feelings. I, I don't see anything even remotely morally questionable about what 
these therapists were offering to these men. But the idea that a, a corporation could come and say, no, no, you can't read that book. You, know, you can read pretty, pretty much any other book that you want, regardless of what kind of uh, horrendous person authored it, but you can't read the book that would help to, to aim you on a normal, healthy life. And that's absolutely evil. And, that's, and we see the sort of end consequences of this over there in Malta. You made it to the end. You either really liked or really hated that video. Let's assume you liked it. There are a lots more that you can choose from. And also you can follow me on Gab and various other social media sites. And if you are able to support the channel, that's an option for you too. There are links in the description below. Thank you so much.